guidelines what if i want to know latest news about programming what if i want to know latest news about let's say uh, technology what if i want to know news about uh, sports and all how can i do that now for that you actually need to do something different not very much different but something different so let's add category news here now category news there are there are in this api there is no news like category news like for sports technology no this api is not consisting of anything like that it simply has search term you can actually search and within this search if we put these categories then it will automatically give us sports news right that is a basic sense common sense so if i go to like uh, where is the search searching for news articles you could see we have to use something like this and here we have our key that is apple here and then we want we have to add the date so we would definitely want the latest news so we will add today's date and then we have this thing as same that is sort we want it by popularity only and then we will add simply our api key as before so that is what we have to do guys and now let's do it without any further ado so let's go to the vs code now let me just okay let this tab be there okay category news now again we need to create a function guys now let's name that function let's say simply get category news or something i'll do async not any it's async let's say get category not like this yeah get category news okay we have to add the function keyword i forgot to add that and now fine and let's add some parameter here which will be our search term let that be category simple and then let's write our function now for this we i i previously just said you that we actually need date right date object to pass in there so let's get those dates so i'll simply say let date two because we have already defined these date variables above so we uh, we can actually use that from there right then why cre we are we creating it again okay let's check for it let's go to the top we should have it somewhere okay here we have here we have this hours minutes and seconds so what i'm going to do is get date uh, and then month then year from this date itself so let's just go down again okay so not day 2 we don't need it again so uh, let me just simply do y y y y this will be for year and then we have mm then we have not and then it's mm then we have dd so dd is for date mm is for month and y y y y is for year so let's just say that dd is equal to the date dot uh, get date okay the date dot get date function and uh, after this we have uh, mm equals to date dot get month and after this similarly we have y is equal to date dot get full year and fine now we got these and now we have something beautiful if i save it i i mean paste it you could see it so this time we had the url something like this right let me just copy this to simply compare it okay i'll paste it here okay first of all we need to have a query here and for that query we need to add it using template literals right so we actually don't need to do it this way we can use template literal directly in one and we could use it but this looks much more in detail like if someone not used to programming watches it he will know that right he is adding category as some different thing is adding to it to the same string like that he's doing so he may understand so that is the reason i am doing it much precisely here and you could also do it with template literals if you want faster okay so we have http news everything till here one thing and then we have this query then the category here you could see this if i would select it right here and then we have the date as something different here it is here 
and then you could see sort by popularity or if you want something different you can do by reading the docs and then simply our api key that is the url and again we need to do the same stuff guys what is that we have to create a variable let's say request is equal to new request within this we are passing in our url so why are we doing this again and again let's just simply copy it from above right okay let us just copy this await fetch till the end till here i guess if i go here let's see where till where it is yeah till there only so now if i paste that here we have it something like this right so now let's just remove comment this out Okay, no need to comment it, but I will just remove this and uh, I will console log the data and then it is fine. Okay, now this time I'm not doing for button click. I will simply add the command. Okay, okay. We have to test it with button click. The command has some other code also because we need to get the category word from our uh, total command, right? So that is the reason we have to test it first by ourselves we have this console of data fine okay again here i'm just looking for 10 headlines because if i make it 20 it will just be gone for around 10 minutes and i don't i don't actually listen to news for 10 minutes or something i i will be bored definitely so let's save it now and uh, let, before that let's call this function where is that uh, button small job is okay let's do call get category news and within here let's add a keyword okay before that let's make this n capital and the keyword will be technology technology fine okay and below also let's change that n here and if i save it now go to jarvis and then open our developer tools and uh, if i click on make me small here our data is there now again we have our articles 10 right this time we actually got 10 articles only so it is fine no need to do this thing again here we don't need to do this but let it be because it's not stopping us from doing anything right so let it be i'm just letting it be if you want you can just remove it there will be no issues because the search result will only give you 10 so fine now let's just do one thing what we actually need to do is test it out let's just say read out a save and now if i click on make me small just see what will happen one Bluetooth headphones will never give you the best sound quality. 2. Autonomous tugboat will make a trailblazing 1150 mile voyage. 3. Fusion energy nears reality thanks to an ultra powerful magnet. 4. Take a good, long look at Korean action RPG Project Eve. 5. Defense Department seeks nuclear propulsion for small spacecraft. 6. Apple's iPad Air drops to. And just like that. Now what we need is a command to actually do this, right? Okay, great. Uh, so let's go to that to remove this. And uh, let's just comment both of these out. And it, now I'm just saving it. And now let's go here to these transcripting clues. And now if I copy, then paste it again. Now we actually need a different command guys. Now what is that command is just to get our category news. So I am saying that if our transcript includes something like news regarding sports or news regarding technology, then it is going to tell us, right? So I know you have already done this. Okay. You have already done this. We are just doing it some very similar. Okay. Let's keep this readout commented for some time. We will add it. Okay. So let us say, let the input be our transcript let it be the transcript 
and after this transcript we are saying let our a be equal to we are getting the index of regarding why because we want the next term to that regarding you will say like this only now news regarding sports so we want the next term after regarding so that is the reason i am getting the index of regarding index of regarding now what if you say something before news regarding you can say anything like you were speaking something and suddenly you say news regarding that is the reason i'm getting index of news regarding regarding and then going to the next part previously we have done not done like this that is the reason we have to only say this thing you can actually update it right there also i know you are smart and you can do that simple thing on your own right just change that to index a and that is fine so if where find the regarding keyword where it is and then what we actually need to do is input dot split then we are saying input dot split split everything okay everything everything wherever there is uh, some space i guess okay after splitting we have to splice from where okay let me tell you input dot splice we have to remove some elements from starting to a plus 9 why a plus 9 because length of regarding just count the number of letters here 4 and then 3 4 then 5 which is 9 so a plus 9 we are doing here and then we want the keyword after that right so that is the reason we are doing this much and again now what i would like to do is remove the first element what is the first element okay for that we could simply do it 10 or either we could do what input dot shift yeah this will remove the first element for us there will be a space right after regarding that is that is what we are removing its shift and then we are doing input dot pop because we want to remove the full stop at the end right i will say pop full stop at the end that is also something we need to remove because it will actually give a full stop after whatever we speak out after our every command and now we could do guys what um let us say input dot join let us say input dot join or we could just define it within that so i don't think this is uh, writing it multiple times is useful so right now i'm saying read out read out using template literals here here some let's say here some headlines headlines on let's use them these uh, thing what we call it i don't know so let's say just say input dot join and join each of the elements fine now i will just simply copy this stuff and then after this i will call the get category news function and within this i will pass it again and now our command is complete guys and now let's just test it out hey jarvis tell me news regarding sports okay let's just open the console test it whether it is taking the commands or is there any error or something yeah index of is not defined it is saying that index of is not defined why so okay okay we have to do input dot index of there i just forgot it input dot index of we have to do then it should work okay jarvis tell me news regarding technology again an error that is input dot splice okay why is an error here now this should be actually fine i don't see anything here we are removing from 0 to a so it is showing an error at splice only
Okay, guys, just give me a second. We are doing input dot split. Okay, now I get it. We have to make our input variable as input dot split, and then we have to splice in within this new split element. Okay, now test it out. Okay, news regarding sports. Here's some headlines on sports. One. Could a compound bell help me stick to an exercise routine? Comma. Two. How to renovate your living room without spending renovation money? Three. The speed bag is a highly underrated workout. Four. How to break through a lifting plateau? Five. Fuoco TV streaming app lands on Vizio Smartcast. Okay, so here let's do one thing, guys. Let's test it out again with technology because I think there is something I'm not getting. Okay, let's just test it out with technology also. I will open the this console first of all, and uh, now news regarding technology. Here's some headlines on technology. One, Bluetooth headphones will never give you the best sound quality. Two. Autonomous tugboat will make a trailblazing. Okay, now it is giving perfectly fine. So now I am actually satisfied that yes, it is working perfectly fine. So guys, that is what we did in today's episode. You will find the code for this calendar part within the description. So you could actually check it out. And the code for this news thing, I'm not going to give it. Just write it on your own. Learn it that how are we integrating APIs? How are we are we using it along Jarvis and just learn master things. So that is it for this video guys. I will meet you again with another cool video just like this one. Until then, bye guys and support my work please.